One of the really cool things about the Bowerman Sports Science Center is we're pulling together a lot of different research interests and different disciplines within the field of human physiology all under one roof. It becomes this one-stop shop for anything you want to measure related to human athletic performance. We're really translating across these rooms through multiple systems and everything that really goes from kind of bench top science all the way to uh, bedside biomedical research to those elite athletes and helping them perform at their best and stay healthy as they train. The centerpiece of the equipment that I have available to me is the environmental chamber. This is a approximately a 12 by 12 by 12 space with an additional space next to it that we can manipulate the environment to really simulate any place where humans live long-term in Earth. So we can measure our cardiac output, meaning how much blood your heart's putting out. We can measure how much oxygen you're using, how much CO2 you're producing. We have hot tubs that can be either hot or cold. This is thinking of like hot water immersion. We also have a sauna that we can do traditional sauna, which means bring it up to about 200 degrees Fahrenheit, or we can do infrared sauna, which heats people through the infrared waves. Another tool that we have at our disposal here is the ultrasound devices, and that allows us to really look at blood vessels and blood flow through the cardiovascular system non-invasively. In our lab, we use various forms of mathematical models to analyze what's going on with the human body. Some of them, we reduce the human body to sticks, like a stick figure with uh, ropes for muscles and the pin joints to put it all together, even though we know anatomy isn't exactly that simple. Another thing we do, though, is we use finite element modeling, where we can take MRI scans of uh, an individual's Achilles and calcaneus, the entire lower limb, and we can then use software to make a 3D mesh file of each of those objects and then put in some mechanical constraints, put some load into the system and measure where the stress transfers are to try to identify specific problem areas that could come up based on how the person is running. And each of these spaces, when we move from you know, the biomechanics area to cardiovascular studies to integrative physiology, measurement of biomarkers and environmental and exercise stressors, we can work with the elite level athletes, the community member who's interested in increasing their fitness level or maybe taking on their first marathon. And we can also translate these same methods to looking at healthy aging populations and also work with specific patient groups. So we're applying the knowledge from exercise physiology and environmental physiology and human movement to patient groups as well as the elite athletes.